back again, even though it's my bedtime, because I had to respond to this. So a little few days ago, I made a video about this lady. Her YouTube channel is now named Belle Aubrey. And I was uh, criticizing her take on Eugenia Cooney, which if you don't know Eugenia, this is Eugenia Cooney. Um, if you're watching this video, then you, you know who she is, you know the drama surrounding her and all of that. And uh, I just found out um, through Xylee Gets Real that she made a response to the guy, the guy who made the video I was reacting to, she made a response to him. And <laughs> I just had to, I just had to film my reaction because this response video didn't, it didn't do much for me. Hold on, let me play my intro. Let's, let's play the intro. I don't edit my videos, so this is my intro. Yes, welcome to my channel. I talk about, clearly, I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. Um, also my life journey, um, my mental health progress, my dance training progress as well. So if you're into any of that, subscribe, vibe with me. And I'm going to react to this video. I'm going to see the videos 30 minutes and um, I, <laughs> I want to go to bed pretty soon. So I'm going to try to um, just insert the parts that I specifically want to respond to. And I want to also clarify, I am not uh, trying to protect or defend Willie Mack, the guy that she is specifically uh, responding to. I am not trying to defend him because um, I don't know him. Okay. I, that's literally the only video I've seen of him. Um, I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Uh, sorry to this man. S s sorry to this man. Um, this, I'm not coming to Cape for you. I, I haven't seen none of your other videos, so I don't know everything that you're about. So um, I can't Cape for you, but what I am caping for is the, the ideas that I was talking about when I was reacting to your video and how I think if this video gets too long to sum it up, Belle, the issue, Belle, I don't know if she'll watch this girl. Um, and you see, I'm subscribed, but the issue, Belle, is that you're not understanding that we don't agree with the premise of your argument. Bell's argument is that Eugenia Cooney is um, violating YouTube guidelines and she sh should be deplatformed as she is now because she's more harmful than other people on YouTube and she's violating guidelines and that YouTube uh, YouTube agrees with this and uh, I don't I don't know if that she just thinks that we're attacking her because <laughs> for whatever reason, she's not comprehending that we're actually thinking just like she is thinking, we are also thinking and we heard what you said and what you said was not good enough evidence to convince us that your premise of her being a pro Anna channel, you didn't provide enough evidence. We're not convinced. We disagree with the whole premise. And that's the main, that's, that's the crux of the problem. That that's the crux of the problem. She can't, she can't, 
she just can't comprehend how we wouldn't see it how she sees it. So, okay, let me try to go through this video. The creator who made a video regarding my stance on Eugenia's content either getting removed or age restricted in order to protect children and minors from the dangers of pro Anna and Thinspo content. Hello. My stance is also YouTube stance, which we'll get into in a little bit. So, so far, everything that she said, that is why we made the videos that we made. We disagree with what you just said. Like, what you just said, we disagree with. And I feel like she thinks we do agree and we're just <laughs> being difficult or something. You know, like, we literally, what you just said, we think you are incorrect about that. This creator went out of his way to paint me in the literal worst light that he possibly could. Like, I started- I also want to note that Willie Mac's video, she won't say the name. I don't know. She won't say his name. His name is Willie Mac. His video was not about Belle. Though she does show up, she shows up um, a lot in the later half. So I didn't react to his entire video. I only reacted to her part because I subscribe to her, so I'm familiar with her. Um, but his video that featured her was not about her. His video was about, he included several other channels and he was inspired to make the video because of a different channel. He wasn't inspired by Belle. Belle was not his inspiration to make the video. Somebody else was his inspiration, but um, you'll hear, well, if you go watch her video, you'll hear how she kind of is assuming that she was the inspiration and that the video was really supposed to just be about her, but that isn't correct. I started watching the video and there was zero objectivity. There was no mention of why I might have the stance that I had. And I remember thinking as I was watching that this- We believe you have the stance that you have because you have an ED. I think he did include that in the video. You were triggered and, and you have experience in this pro and the world. So that's why you have the stance that you have. This was not an objective critique or audit as he was trying to frame it. This was literally a hit piece meant to smear me as much as he possibly could. Like again, I no, because girl, you said what you said. Like <laughs> when people are talking about what that's what that's one thing I don't understand. She probably listen, she won't respond. She won't answer my questions, I'm sure, if she ever sees this. But girl, you said what you said. Like in the the what you said in Willie Mac's video, that stuff was not taken out of context. Actually, there's one thing she's going to talk about that I will give her some leeway on. I think it's the panty thing. Um, but everything else was in context. And you said what you said. Like, if you feel like what you said sounded bad, girl, maybe it's because what you said was bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm, mm, I'm just not getting her. So I want to take the time today to address some of the criticisms. And I also want to clear the air regarding my stance on the situation. And I also want to bring up some points that he seemingly just forgot to mention, probably because they didn't fit the narrative he was trying to push. But what I found- Okay, so what's what we'll see as we watch is that she didn't clear the air. Like what he said she stands for is- is what she will repeat again what she stands for like like you ever you ever if you you ever argue with somebody and they're like no you don't get me you, you don't get what I'm saying you took me out of context and it's like okay so repeat yourself what's the context and they literally just repeat what you've been saying <laughs> like verbatim like that's what this video is it's like girl like yes we know like that's what you said before. That's what Willie Mac showed that you said. And that's what you're saying again now. I don't know. Like there's one thing about the panties that I'm like, oh, okay, I see your point. I see how you feel like he took it. He didn't include enough information. And that is like the most minuscule, minute, insignificant detail. So I'm, 
like I feel like this video that she made to clear the air did nothing. Like it, it, it's just doubling down. Like what you, this is a double down. I find really weird is he followed me on Twitter a few months ago. Oh, and I've uh, uh, no, I'm going to skip this drama. I'm going to, I'm skipping Twitter drama. Like it's irrelevant. She's going to talk about, Oh, he added me and he called me the B word and I don't want to debate. I, I don't need, I don't like him. He don't like me drama. Let's get to the real issue about Eugenia Cooney. That it was in May. May. It's now October. So where was this fake moral outrage before? Why is it just coming now? Okay, so she's calling it fake moral outrage. Uh, she's calling Willie Max fake moral outrage because he didn't make a video before. But again, she, Bell was not the inspiration for his video. Somebody else was. So she's she's making this about her. She did not spark Willie Mac. He found your stuff. Like you, he found, as he was making the video, he found you adding to what he viewed was the problem, which in case you can't tell, the issue that we have is it feels like these people want Eugenia to uh, be deplatformed from YouTube simply because she exists. So, they're interpreting Eugenia's existence as pro Anna content. And what we're saying is she has an ED, but she should still be allowed to exist on the, on the platform. Where was it for the last year when I publicly held the same exact stance that they are complaining about now? And actually there are other YouTubers, albeit they're smaller that were speaking out against channels who were speaking on Eugenia Cooney. So, I mean, this is specifically about Willie Mack. Um, she thinks Willie Mack is fake outrage, but again, his video is not about Bell. This creator also framed Katie Morton as some kind of hero. This Katie Morton. Okay, so she wants to use, uh, Katie Morton is problematic in so many ways like the the problem at least to, to me what makes katie morton unethical as a therapist is that she um she involves herself in youtube mess and it's kind of like dr grande dr grande involves himself in youtube mess and the way he talks about it is not professional and katie when katie involves herself in youtube mess she's not professional she's just being herself right but she's talking about mental health in a very colloquial ooh, oh that that type of disorder gives me the shivers kind of way and it's unethical because it's like if you had a patient with that problem they're kind of wondering oh well what do you think of me then <laughs> you know it's um same thing with dr grande like if you've heard dr grande talk about Trisha Paytas or other people who are suffering with certain disorders, you wouldn't feel comfortable going to Dr. Grande if you have that same disorder. Cause then you're wondering, Oh God, if that's what he thinks about her, then oh, what's he going to say about me? So it's not ethical. And, uh, Bill, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's appropriate to use, um, him talk, you know, referring to Katie Morton as a hero as a way to discredit him. Maybe he didn't know about the issues with Katie Morton. I don't know, but it's not really related to, um, it's not related to the issues he had with what you said. What kind of person she is, or he just did zero research into her. If you want to watch some videos that are actually objective about some of the horrible things Katie Morton has done, including promoting an app that was really shady and exploited users with depression, then you should check out either Uncle now, let me say something about BetterHelp. I am a customer of BetterHelp. The way people report on BetterHelp is, um, uh, I think if Belle did some research on BetterHelp, she would realize she's reporting BetterHelp the same way she's accusing <laughs> uh, this Millie Mac guy of reporting on Katie Morton. Uh, BetterHelp has, I'm, I'm a happy customer of it. They uh, were accused of having really shady uh, terms of service. 
Um, and uh, people blew that out of proportion. The, they had like a very basic terms of cover my ass terms of service that albeit I agree needed to be changed because you need to be able to guarantee to your clientele a certain standard and it got blown out of proportion people were saying oh the therapists on better help are not real and and this and that and then they started attacking the idea of telehealth um, attacking like, oh, you shouldn't see a therapist over Zoom. You need to see a therapist in person. No, actually, telehealth is becoming the norm and more and more people, more and more therapists who aren't on better help, who have a standalone practice are offering online therapy. Like online therapy is not weird. It's not taboo, especially post pandemic panorama, excuse me. Um, and they have changed the terms of service. They have changed the terms of service t- so that it's no longer shady. So you kind of did your research on better help. Anyway, I'm just I'm just saying I'm I'm act- I'm trying to defend better help because it is the reason it is the reason I finally was able to get the type of help I needed with my depression. And also People were using this idea of, you know, you're you're taking advantage of people who are depressed and taking money out of them. But it's like, I don't know if y'all knew this, but to see a therapist, it costs money. And in my area, it costs a minimum of a hundred dollars a session. Like I could not find a therapist that was cheaper than a hundred dollars per session. A hundred and fifty even 200 per session is normal in my area. So a service like BetterHelp was incredible because I was getting the same freaking talk therapy that I needed, but at an affordable price. And because I was depressed and I kept losing money because I kept going to my appointments late or forgetting them because I'm depressed and have ADHD and can't get out of bed that was so helpful that literally alarm goes off on my phone I turn on better help I'm in bed the therapist sees I'm in bed and we actually uh, talk about this issue and I would not be in a better position than I am today if it weren't for oh, it doesn't need to be better help but any form of um, financially available teletherapy um, because it didn't need to be better help. It just needed to be something I could afford and something that was, uh, online video chat. So just defending my little, my little thing right there. And I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I wish actually I need to email them and ask them if I can get sponsored, but, um, I don't get paid off it. I just know it helped me a lot and it could help other people. I don't like this really really poorly researched smear campaign um, that's gone that's gone on with them. Every content creator on the screen right now. They're all either a woman or they're LGBT. So let me get this straight. If you talk about current events on YouTube, then you're a T-channel. Well, as long as you're LGBT or a woman. But if you're a straight guy, then it's just commentary, bro. When a T-channel says rotten stuff about Gabby or the commentary guys, it's okay, we could take it. When a T-channel says rotten stuff about Gabby or the commentary guys, it's okay, we could take it. Okay, got it. I also find it really funny because okay, Sloan- so I don't, I haven't watched enough of his videos to know if he really makes a distinction. Like if he, when he said commentary guys, if he literally meant men, <laughs> I like that, cl- that audio is not in context because commentary guys can refer to more than just men. Um, I don't, I don't, but that's an interesting take. Like that's an interesting take that in the video we're discussing. Um, I, and I didn't watch every second of his entire video because I specifically wanted to get to her part. So, and I don't know the orientation of everyone that he included in his video, but that is an interesting thing to point out. I don't know if it means anything yet. But I thought that was interesting, so I'll include it in my video. 
in case she watches it and she's like, she ignored this part of it. Lying to you by implying in any way, shape or form, either directly or indirectly, that I support removing people from YouTube simply because they are sick. I have never thought that. But, by that logic. But that is what you're doing. Okay, so she'll say, she, she's saying that she never thought that, but then as she explains what she is trying to do, then you'll be like, okay, so that's what you're doing. Since I have an ED, I would also need to be deplatformed, and I would also have to advocate for the deplatforming of anyone who suffers with an ED. And I but what you're advocating for is deplatforming of someone with an ED who also looks sick. So the key, the key here is how they look. That's the key, right? I don't know. Does she not know? Does she not realize that's the difference? That that's the difference that Eugenia looks sick. You don't. I would have to title my videos. Everyone who suffers with an ED should be banned from YouTube or something like that. But I didn't do that. And I don't. Now you only think the ones who look sick as in too thin, not too big, not any other <laughs> looking way, just too thin. Those are the ones. I don't think that. And I never have thought that. What my belief is, okay. and what my belief always has been, is that people who weaponize their EDs in the form of thinspo or pro Anna content, who use it for shock value and for profit with zero regard for who they're influencing, should be removed or age restricted. When but this this is the crux of the matter we don't agree with you that eugenia is weaponizing her ed for pro anna content and shock value we you have not provided enough evidence to convince us so you just come off as somebody who is triggered by eugenia and you don't want to see her anymore so you are supporting a deplatforming campaign like the the premise that you are for, we don't see it. I don't know. So we we disagree on that premise. So everything that you do based on that premise, we see as wrong. When you're a creator and you have a large audience, you're called an influencer. And influencers influence people. It's why they're called influencers. And according to YouTube's community guidelines, there's a certain amount of responsibility that comes with that influence. Okay. If you look at YouTube's community guidelines, you'll see that they actually agree with me. If you look at their community guidelines page, you'll see that there's a bunch of different ones. But if you scroll down, you'll see one that says harmful and dangerous content. Okay. And if you read through it, it says eating disorders, content that praises, glorifies, or encourages viewers to imitate anorexia or other eating disorders. Eating disorders are characterized by abnormal or disturbed eating habits, which negatively affect a person's health and you okay so eugenia does not talk about her ed she doesn't show her ed she doesn't show food she just shows herself and makeup and, and outfits what has eugenia done that fits this we argue she's done nothing and when you show us the evidence that you have, the evidence that you have to us looks like her mere existence. <laughs> like, like I, I feel like you, you would prefer that she not show her fate. Like she just be a cartoon. Like she, you know, like those channels that they don't show who they are. They, they have a cartoon avatar. It seems like that's what you want, but she likes makeup and she likes cosplay. So she can't, I mean, she can't show her makeup and cosplay if she's if she doesn't show herself or maybe you'd want her to dress up somebody else like the, it seems like the issue you have is the fact that she exists in a thin body. We also criticize you because um, there are YouTube channels they are called mukbangs that actually do fit into this. Um, a mukbang is abnormal and disturbed eating habits, which negatively affect your health, including eating non-food items, which there, there are channels where they, like people were eating like deodorant, like not, not like fake jelly deodorant. That's actually jello. Like they were eating real food and real deodorants, <laughs> 
like a lot of these mukbang channels and ASMR food channels actually fit this description, but I don't see Eugenia Cooney fitting this description. It seems like you think because she merely exists and has the audacity to show herself on camera, you believe that alone qualifies as praising and glorifying and encouraging Anna. We disagree with you. We do not believe one's mere existence qualifies as praise and glorification. YouTube agrees with me, and I know this because they took down one of my videos on Eugenia Cooney. So on May 16th, I got a notification that one of my videos had been taken down, and it wasn't like a super crazy video. It was literally just me sitting in a chair, like I always do, just responding to things that Eugenia was doing in her video. Like it was just a video that Eugenia had done, it was like a fashion haul or something, and I was talking about it. Hi Pastel Bell, our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately we think it violates our harmful and dangerous policy. We've removed the following content from YouTube, and the video was the dangers of Eugenia Cooney and pro-Anna content. Now, I really want to stress that this was not a video that was taken down because it was bullying Eugenia Cooney. Remember that community guideline that I went over like 10 seconds ago? Mm -hmm. That was what they cited. It wasn't uh, bullying or something else because that's a completely different guideline. So what's interesting to me about her logic is that she thinks her video and Eugenia's, Eugenia's video are the same thing. So Eugenia's video is her dressing up, wearing makeup. Belle's video is using images of Eugenia and discussing ED. That's the difference. And you'll hear how that rationale, like it never occurs to her that maybe the fact that you repeatedly say the words ET <laughs> disorder. And now I don't want to say it because I don't want to be removed. <laughs> Lord, but it doesn't occur to her that the fact that she's using ED terminology over and over in her video, maybe that's the reason it got removed for ED content. And the fact that Eugenia Cooney never says ED terminology, she's showing makeup or video games or whatever. Maybe that's the reason she's not removed for ED content. The, the fact that the actual content, what the video was discussing is different and YouTube can pick up words that you say. So if you're saying these ED terms over and over, YouTube can pick up on that. You, uh, let me keep playing. You'll see that this line of thinking never occurs to her. Like the only Instead, she comes up with a conspiracy theory. The only thing that would make sense for it to be taken down for is if it violated their eating disorder policy, which is under the harmful and dangerous content section. So go, go to next. The next step would be, what did I do that violates the ED policy that Eugenia didn't do? That would, that would be the next logical thought, right? So... Why did my video on Eugenia get taken down, but Eugenia's own videos get to stay up? Now, keep in mind- Because you repeat ED terms over and over. The only thing that was in my video was me sitting in a chair doing some analysis on why body checking and thinspo is bad, but Eugenia's video, which had the same content, except without the disclaimer- It's not the same content if she's not discussing ED. And without the educational stuff about EDs and the dangers of it, that got to stay up. The only thing yeah, that the, I- Why, the, how does she frame it that way? She, she's saying it like, oh, what is it? She's, it's the same exact thing. She just didn't give educational content. That matters. She's acting like the literal content of what you're saying doesn't matter. Like she's acting like the, the policy only applies to what the images of humans in the video visually look like. Like she doesn't think what you talk about matters. Can possibly think of is that I just don't generate the same amount of ad revenue that Eugenia does. See, Eugenia she says that's the only thing that she could possibly think of that she's a smaller channel. She doesn't make as much money. <sighs> y'all like, do y'all see how I had to like kind of push back my, my bedtime to discuss this? Like when I hear really, really, really bad logic, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I, I have to, I have, mm -hmm. I have to talk about this. Grr. Let me make, should I make this bigger? Should I make this bigger for y'all? Okay. 
Genie is making YouTube a ton of money, and I'm just not doing that. In other words, it all boils down to money. Now, no, it doesn't. Girl, there's a whole logical step you just leaped over. To address the point you made about me saying that I never wanted her deplatformed, I have always had the same stance on Eugenia. I have always said that I think her content should be either age-restricted or removed because I think it is causing a lot of harm to people, and as someone who suffered with an ED myself, I know exactly how dangerous and insidious this disease is, and how harmful Finspo and Froana- So I don't know why she doesn't think re getting someone's videos removed isn't deplatforming. That is what deplatforming is on YouTube if your videos are removed. Age restriction and removing videos aren't the same. So I don't understand why she's like acting like they're the same, like they're on the same category, because at least if it's age restricted, it's still on the website. But what you're doing is you're making it so less people will see it. So you're trying to you're trying to ding her audience size, which some people can view that as trying to deplatform, trying to make them less popular. But um but also, like, I just don't understand how she doesn't get how having somebody's YouTube videos removed is deplatforming them from YouTube. And a content is to those who struggle with EDs or who are prone to struggle with EDs. I have always said that. When I mentioned, I never said that I want. Yeah, we know you've always said that. I don't understand why she's why she's repeating herself like we didn't hear it. Like we we yes, we heard you. We disagree with you. It's. I don't know if it's just beyond her that people can disagree with what she said. We heard what you said. We got it. I wanted to deplatform her. I meant that I don't think she should be deplatformed from every social media that she has ever or will ever have forever. Like, are you? Okay. And then she's not going to really explain that. Um, Zylie gets real, has a good point that I agree with her. When she says deplatform forever, that she doesn't mean do it forever. Zylie gets real um, in her live stream. She said that that forever lets you know that what she means is when Eugenia adds more weight, then she can be on again. And we disagree with that. We we believe that you should not be the platform for how you look. Point blank, period. No one should be the platform because they look a certain way. Point blank period. We di like, we completely disagree with your premise entirely. But also, at least in my video, I'm not talking about every platform. <laughs> like, I don't, I didn't see that your petition was to remove her from Instagram. Maybe it was. I'm talking about YouTube and no, Eugenia doesn't violate YouTube guidelines and she shouldn't be deplatformed from YouTube and wanting someone's videos to be removed is deplatforming them from YouTube. And if you're doing it because she's too thin for you now and you don't want to see her on screen, then you are trying to get her deplatformed because of how she looks. Doing this point is literally just hyperbole, but also I've always had the same stance and I've always said it publicly. I think that Eugenia's pro-Anna, thin spell, shock value content that is actively harming minors in her community should- she, You see how she, you see what I mean? She just repeats herself over like, we didn't get it. Like we get it. We don't agree with you. We think you're wrong. Be temporarily banned or age restricted on YouTube. Not only because it's harming minors and it's harming adults, but it also literally just does violate YouTube's own community guidelines. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Because your only evidence for her being pro Anna is that she takes pictures of herself. That's, that's not, that doesn't prove that she's pro Anna. <laughs> it proves that you don't like how she looks. Now to address the Nikocado Avocado situation. You know, I knew even before I posted that video that people were going to intentionally misrepresent what I said, which is why I included this. Here, here's the funny thing. We didn't misrepresent what she said. We use the same clip that she's gonna sh Look, look. Again, I think it's extremely important to acknowledge that Nikocado Avocado and people like him, such as like Amberlynn Reed and other people who do these like binge eating content videos online. I this clip that she's showing is in Willie Mac's video. If I'm remembering wrong, please let me know, but this video clip is in his video. So what does she mean she got misrepresented? She's showing the same damn video clip. Like y'all see, like I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't get her girl. 
I when I first when I made my first video about her, I I was like on this particular stand. There's other videos that she has that I love. That's why I'm subscribed. I don't know if she blocked me. I uh, I don't try to comment on her stuff anymore because she doesn't respond to like once a YouTuber stops responding to comments, I just stop. And then sometimes I just assume that they blocked me. <laughs> I don't know. Um. But I think she has a lot of good videos. It's just on this Eugenia thing. I'm like, girl, now th this is not it. I don't think that should be normalized. I don't think it's healthy. I don't like to see it. I want to see people being healthy and having a good relationship with their body and with food. But I also think that there is already a lot of information out there about why that behavior is not good. And I think a lot of people sort of downplay the effects that eating have on people. And I don't think that that is a responsible or okay thing to do, especially considering some of these immediate dangers to your life that eating can put you in. It's also really disgusting. Yes. We know that's what you said, but here's the difference. You think Eugenia should be deplatformed. You don't think mukbangers should be platformed. And I'm not even saying Nikocado Avocado because th the point is mukbanging is binge eating a lot of food at once and posting it and doing that on a daily basis is abnormal and disordered eating. Like it, <laughs> it's just literally violating the guideline like literally like we're not saying well they look a certain way so that violates the guideline no like what the guideline says is literally what they're, they're doing and you know this I you agree with this but your explanation as to why they shouldn't be deplatformed is because there's already a lot of information about why it's bad which I disagree no there's not there is fat phobia, but there's not a lot of information as to why uh, binge eating is bad. There's not a lot of information. Like, ED is not widely discussed, especially not uh, binge. Let me call it um, BED, <laughs> especially not BED. So, first of all, I disagree with her. There's not a lot of information as to why it's bad. I don't know if what she meant is there's a lot of fat phobia. I don't know if, if what she meant is, you know, everybody knows that obesity is not good for your health. I don't know if that's what she meant, but obesity is not the B is not the ED. That's not B, the, the way your body looks is a descriptor that is a side effect of potentially an ED or potentially another differential diagnosis. The ED is the behavior and some immediate side effects. <sighs> yeah, maybe that's why this annoys me because I'm a dietitian. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting to me that so many people willfully misrepresent what I said and also refuse to listen we to the We didn't misrepresent what you said. You said what the hell you like. I, I'm com I'm confused. We're we're we are responding to literally what you said. Of people who said that they were literally directly influenced by Eugenia to look more like Eugenia. Yes, there are people who say the same thing about the mukbangers, about Nikocado. There's. There's people who want to uh, rescind Lizzo's Grammys or what war. I think she won Grammys. They want to rescind her musical awards because she's obese. And she and 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 they're seeing more people who um, are happy to be obese because they see Lizzo representing them. Like you and that's like, no, like you trying to I, I just I don't agree with punishing somebody for their body type that is so weird to me these are the exact demographics of people that I and many other creators have tried to protect but no no one chose to listen to them they just decided to marginalize their voices and also ignore them in favor of the idea that oh Belle said it's okay to look like Nikocado Avocado which no we're not ignoring those voices we're saying that even though you have that experience, it doesn't give you the right to tread on this person. You know what I mean? 
even freaking Jesse Nelson, who I talked about her black fishing. There's a lot of us talking out about Jesse Nelson, but that how we feel about how she looks does not remove her right to make music. <laughs> Like, because of how we feel about how she looks, it doesn't mean she should now be banned from making uh, pop songs. Like, we're not, we're not trying to remove her right to, you know, fulfill her career because of how she looked. Like, there's something just insidious about trying to really block somebody like not like ban them remove them you're trying to deplatform even the girl he's talking about Jesse Nelson's black fishing and what it represents and what it means we're not deplatforming somebody we're asking for accountability <sighs> I'm just using that as an example. That That's the closest example I can think of to what this girl's trying to do. And no, I didn't. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that Consuelo Bell said it's okay to look like Nikocado Avocado, which no, I didn't. I didn't say that. Okay, she's claiming that we're saying that it's okay to look like Nikocado Avocado. I don't know. Maybe that's what Willie Mac said. That's not what I said. <laughs> maybe that's what Willie Mac said. But that's, that is not what she said. That's not what I derived from what she said. But what I did derive is um, mukbanging is fine enough to not be deplatformed. I'm just saying that considering how the media portrays people who look like Eugenia versus people who look like Nikocado, I think that there is a very obvious difference in the influence that Eugenia's content is going to have over people. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Why does that mean she should be deplatformed? And I think this is largely because of how the media represents people who look like Eugenia. And I don't understand why that's so complex for people to wrap their brains around. It's no, we understand, honey. What we're trying to understand is why does that mean she needs to be deplatformed? Because now what it sounds like you're saying is that every thin person needs to be deplatformed like anyone who has rounded shoulders anybody who looks too thin maybe sickly thin that these people need to have their videos removed because they're showing themselves on video that's what it sounds like you're saying but being in a bigger body since it's stigmatized that's okay to show we think you can show all of it. And you're also saying that being in a thinner body, posting videos in a thin body means you're violating YouTube guidelines. But we're questioning how is your appearance violating YouTube guidelines, but displaying the actual act of the ED is somehow not. We're, this is, we're not getting it. Looking a certain way to you violates guidelines. Actually displaying the act of an ED to you, not violating guidelines. We're confused. That's what confuses us. That's what confuses us. The, the tidbit about, you know, thin bodies are more glorified in society or whatever your point is here is like, to, it's irrelevant to us. Like, that's not the point. And honestly, that's not your point either. Obviously, there are still a lot of problems with Nikocado, and I don't think he's healthy or it's okay to look like that. We know you don't think it's healthy, but you think it's okay enough to not be deplat to be allowed to remain on YouTube. You don't want his videos removed. But I also think that everyone knows that, and I don't really see as many people as influenced by Nikocado as Eugenia. And so when I say Eugenia is more dangerous, that's what I mean. Only that she is more dangerous, but they are both still dangerous. Hold on, let me check something. Okay, I just had to check something. Um, Nick Cicado Avocado has more subscribers than Eugenia Cooney. He has multiple channels. He's in uh, uh, the drama videos very often. Um, in some kind of drama. And there are mukbangers with way 
more subscribers than him. I just had to check that. And maybe, you know, she said Eugenia has more influence than Muckbangers or Nick Akato. You know, that's just, just up to her opinion, you know, because she could say, well, I'm not referring to YouTube subscribers. I'm referring to the audience that is directly engaging. I, I don't know. She can, it can be flipped however you want to flip it. That's just up to your opinion. I just, I just had to check numbers real quick. Now, about the panties matching the eyeshadow comment that I made in one video one time that they keep bringing up over and over and over again, as if it was the only point that I made in that video. If you don't think that that's uh, no. valid, if you don't think that that is evidence of Eugene. Girl. No, I'm sorry, she... The logic. The logic. No, you know what, you know what, no, she's, she's annoyed, she's annoyed, you know what, she's annoyed, okay? She's annoyed. She's annoyed, so, you know, you say things when you're annoyed that, you know, you'll look back later and you're like, I mean, that's not what I meant. But no... Um, we did not discuss the eyeshadow panty thing like it's the only thing you said. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to give grace. Um, I think she's just really annoyed that we bring it up <laughs> along with other points. Um, okay, let's go. Eugenia doing it on purpose, that's completely fine. You don't have to agree with me. But what I do find weird is I brought up a lot of other points in that video and they really only harp on that one individual thing. No, that's incorrect. If she's still talking about Willie Mac's video, that's... <laughs> Dude, how is she going to say Willie Mac only harps on that one thing? But then, but this video is 30 minutes of her talking about the other things he talked about. Girl, what? The logic. I just want logic. Like, if you're going to make a response video, just... Mm, imbue some logic you know like when people make a response you know to clarify usually they you know add a new viewpoint you know I forgot to mention da -da 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 -da. Um, or explaining well you need to understand the way I saw it was from this viewpoint that you didn't understand when you watched my other video but girl you not only have you merely been repeating your premise that we completely disagree with in the first place, but now you just lying. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if we can call it lying. I don't know if we can call it she's pissed off, so she's over-exaggerating. But no, girl, the eyeshadow panty thing, it was just, it was just a weird thing that you, it's just a weird thing that you said. <laughs> and if it was that one thing, I wouldn't really think it was necessarily on purpose. But because of everything else that happened, that led me to believe that it was definitely on purpose. And I also want to note, there were like 15 panty flashes in the video. It wasn't a live stream. It was edited. I personally don't think that it's going to get uploaded without her mother's approval and that she probably saw it and knew about it. But okay, sure. It definitely was edited by someone. Okay, so now she's going to say, you know, it wasn't just that one panty... Girl, I don't know why you didn't just say um, I was wrong about the eyeshadow. Like, just say... you. <laughs> Just say I was wrong. It's dumb. Can we please move on from it? Like, why don't you just say, again, I'm just like, why don't you just say what you mean? But anyway, um, I understand what you're trying. Don't worry, girl. I got you on this one. I understand what you're trying to say. It wasn't just that one flash. You saw multiple flashes. It was an edited video, so they knew it was in there. Girl, I know, I don't know what you're saying. I peeped. Listen, this is about the only thing in your video that actually makes sense to me. <laughs> this is the only thing in your video that actually makes sense to me. Um, that I would definitely agree with you that it was left in there on purpose. It was left in there on purpose. Yep. It was, you know, maybe to add a little controversy to tell the lies, what, whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. However... Don't let, no, no, don't sit there thinking, okay, so you know what I mean when I say she's pro Anna. No. P undie flashes, or I don't know if they were undies. I, I, I think they were booty shorts, but girl, it's, you know, I understand you. Is They're trying to give the same effect. It's, it's trying to give, oops, oh, wow. It's trying to give, mm, let me stick around and watch this video longer. I, 
we're both girls. We're both girls on YouTube. You know, you know what I'm saying? We know, we know. <laughs> we're girl, we're, we're girls on YouTube. We know. So I get what you're saying. Um, but I don't think that means she's pro Anna. I think she's trying to tantalize. I don't, I don't see how it's pro Anna. The only thing that makes it pro Anna is you don't like her body. That's the only thing that you have. That's the only evidence that you have to say is pro Anna. Either Eugenia or someone else. And so you're telling me that this editor who of the value of her videos go up, her views also go up. And Eugenia has been doing con regardless of how many times it's been brought to her attention. When she does something shocking or controversial, her views skyrocket exponentially. And you can verify that by just checking out her YouTube channel for like 11 seconds. Now, I don't even necessarily have a problem with people who post shocking content, so long as it's not done at the expense of the safety of their audience who watches them. And in addition to- Okay, so I may have missed something, but I, I didn't see in at least in Willie Mac's video, I didn't see the discussion of what Eugenia does that's shocking. Maybe you're, maybe she's trying to say the panty, the, oh, the undie thing. <laughs> maybe she's trying to say the booty shorts thing is the shocking thing. Um, but the, the YouTube guideline that we're referring to, where is it? Hold on, hold on. Let's find that YouTube guide. The YouTube guideline that we're concerned with, I don't see shocking. Mm, I don't see shocking here. You know? So if you're just saying, well, she's, she's trying to do something shocking to get more views, you know, like that is totally... That is totally what YouTubers do. It's not against the guidelines. Otherwise, there would be no T channels. <laughs> but this is, more importantly, extremely dangerous to the minors and adults who are watching her. Now, many of you are probably unaware of this, but there's actually a huge... I, I don't think that it's... I don't think it's extremely dangerous. Um, so, we, like, we, we just disagree on that. But there are things on YouTube... And of, listen, YouTube improves its guidelines as people try to find loopholes and stuff. But, um, I mean, there's so much that is harmful. Like, there's so much that is representatively harmful. So much that this YouTuber did something harmful. Like, why is James Charles still on this damn platform when he's messaging minors? You, you know, like, there's, there's a lot um, there's a lot of things Th that's what well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that rationale is not enough to warrant deplatforming. Why? Because when we use that rationale on things that we all agree is worth deplatforming, YouTube don't give it like YouTube doesn't You get what I'm saying? So, and that's not even, you're trying to say she needs to be deplatformed because of the ED rule. Uh, I, I don't even know if what I'm, I'm basically just repeating what I've been saying this whole time. Okay, let's move, let's keep going. Anorexia fetish community online. And while I don't have 100% proof that Eugenia is catering to this community, there is a lot of evidence from people who are very familiar with this, who know so much more. But here's the thing, there's foot fetish communities and there are teenagers who they have shots of their foot in the thing. There are uh, BBM, <laughs> BB whatever, gluttony uh, fetishes that, and Nick, Nick Accato actually is catering to this audience because he has an OnlyFans. Like they're, they're, uh huh. I just I understand there's a fetish community for a lot of things, including Anna. Then why does that mean Eugenia has to be removed because other people are fetishizing her? That logic doesn't compute for me, you know, and that's not right. Like that's not right at all because you are being fetishized by somebody else. That means you need to be removed. 
so sick of people acting like Eugenia is this helpless person who no one's allowed to criticize. And I'm not just gonna sit idly by and allow people to paint this narrative like the victims who are coming forward are the ones at fault and Eugenia has no responsibility, despite the fact that she's a 27 year old woman who has a platform of over 2 million subscribers. You can say whatever you want about me. Listen, um, I definitely believe you should criticize Eugenia. Like, 100% criticize her. What made, and if you were merely criticizing her, I think Willie Mac would still have made his video and I still would have made my video with my opinion. But I think I would have stopped it right there because it's one thing to criticize somebody. It's one thing to ask for accountability. It's one thing to, you know, bring awareness. You get what I'm saying? And it's another thing entirely to campaign to have their videos removed, which is deplatforming them. That is, that is a next step. That is an extreme step. <laughs> Yo, I just feel like, I just feel like, I feel like we all listen to her. We understand entirely what she's trying to say. And she just can't grasp that we do not agree with what you're saying. Like, we get it. We get what you're saying. We disagree. It's like she just can't believe that people would disagree with it. Me, but I'm not going to allow people to marginalize the voices of these. And, and you absolutely can criticize anybody that you want. You can, just like, you know, you're being criticized. It, you can criticize anyone that you want. So if you're criticizing, let's, let's remove the deplatforming from it. Let's just say you merely were criticizing Eugenia. Willie Mack should also be able to criticize you. Like you, you can be criticized as well. That should be called out and that would not be tolerated if it was any other YouTuber. So why does Eugenia oh, get a okay. pass? So why am I, I not allowed to? I just have to include this part where she's saying we're you know, actively allowing children to be hurt. I have to include that part on the off chance she watches this video. I don't want her to accuse me as, see, they're ignoring the, the voices of victims again. I, like, I don't think she'll see my video. I, I get legitimately, I am lucky if I get 98 people to see one of my videos. But on the off chance she does, I don't want to be lumped in with, see, she's ignoring victims again. Um, we're not ignoring victims. It's like, I don't know, what, what do we say to the victims? You know what I mean? Like, what, what do we say? Like, what, 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 can, what can we say to the victims? What can we say to people who are triggered by thin bodies? We don't, what... Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's what, maybe that's what Bell should, you know, should educate us on. What do we, what do we say? What do we say to people who, when they see a very thin body, it triggers their ED? Like, we, what do we say to that? I don't know what to say. I know personally if it seems like I'm ignoring the victims, I'm not. I just, I don't know what to say to them. But what I do know is telling the thin person you can't have YouTube because you are th too thin, I know that's not right either. Criticize that. Eugenia is not just another creator online who has an ED. She weaponizes her ED in the form of thinspo to generate clicks and views on her. We disagree with that. You don't have evidence to show us that she is weaponizing. Weaponizing means there is intent there. And you have to show us how somebody whose content revolves around cosplay and makeup you have to show us how them taking pictures of themselves or videoing themselves 
how that is them weaponizing what their body looks like. You haven't shown any evidence of that. You know, and it could be the kind of thing where it's like, well, you you wouldn't know because, you know, you've you've never been a part of the pro Anna community. And so you don't know all the little signs. It maybe is something like that. In which case, I'm I'm wondering why you then didn't, you know, go into detail on those things. I feel like you think the evidence that you provided was good enough. And I feel like the evidence you provided is the only evidence you have. And we're telling you that's not convincing enough. That's not enough for us to believe that she is intentionally weaponizing what her body looks like to encourage people to be like her her channel regardless of how many times people have informed her that this is actively hurting her community and actively making life worse for people who are trying to recover from their ed she continues to do it I also she, so what is that she continues to do it meaning she continues to show herself on camera because that that it, that's all that you've shown us is that she shows herself on camera so it sounds like if she makes videos where she's not on camera then that that would be her no stopping it and we're saying we disagree with that. Like you, if you, you should be able to show yourself on camera without being deplatformed, no matter how you look. I feel like a lot of people are trying to ignore the fact that Eugenia is, you know, an influencer who influences people. Now, why does she say we're ignoring that? I don't know. I haven't heard anybody who is ignoring that. It, I wonder if it's because we are discussing her like she's a person. You know, like we're not discussing her, her like she's a character or, you know, a fictional, you know, painting or something. We're not discussing her like she's, you know, a made up person from a movie. We're discussing her like she's a real person and a real person um, has a body and a real person exists in that body. And if you're a person you deserve the right to make YouTube videos about something that you love. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh yeah, well, it's not Eugenia's fault that she struggles with an ED and she can't be held accountable for the fact that she has this mental illness, which is outside of her control, which is true. She has no control over that and it's not her fault that she has to struggle with this. But I don't see the same charitability towards other people, you know, minors who struggle with an ED, who kind of have no choice to look at it because there are so many times where people have said, YouTube, do not show me this. I don't want to see this. And they block her content and YouTube still promotes it. And then it's on the trending page. So how are people supposed to not see this content when it's everywhere? Yeah, that's kind of like how I felt um, when Shane Dawson was doing his blackface and stuff. Um, so I get it. OK, like, listen, I'm a I'm a flipping black woman on YouTube. OK, I have my fair share of videos that are triggering AF that I cannot escape because YouTube literally pushes it number one on trending recommended whatever the hell no i i understand i understand what i'm not understanding is what is she supposed to do about how she looks uh, oh or maybe <laughs> Maybe she should wear baggy clothes. She often does wear baggy clothes. That's not enough because then you point to her collarbone sticking out. Like, like her body is her. It's not, it's not makeup. It's not prosthetics. It's not something that can be removed and put on. That is her body. For her body to change, it, re it requires time for her body to change. Like she should, she shouldn't, she shouldn't have to do invasive surgery or what we're saying is you don't like what her body looks like and there's nothing you can do about that. The, the only solution that you have is for her to not show her fate, her, her image on YouTube 
or for her to no longer have videos. And we're saying that's wrong. We're not ignoring that somebody can look at her and feel some kind of way because of their own mental health issues. That's the other thing, child. This is a mental health issue. The, the girl. Uh uh-uh. yeah. I'm kind of mad at myself that I just compared a mental health issue to <laughs> to racism. Lord. No, that's the other thing. That's a mental health issue that you need to go to a therapist and fix that for yourself. No. Uh-uh. 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 And it's not as if she has the decency to stay in the pro ED community. She also is merging into like the anime and cosplay community. So if you don't want to see the ED stuff, but you still are into like, I don't know. So why shouldn't she, she can't cosplay now? She can't watch anime now? She can't cosplay? No, I remember that Kingdom Hearts outfit. I remember that video. You think I like seeing that video? You think I like, you think that's what I wanted to see? You think that's what I wanted to see? I'm a dietitian. And that body type is dangerous because it has acute consequences. There are acute consequences. Like, how do I explain it <laughs> in layman terms? There are consequences that happen rapidly. That is why we tend to be more concerned about people who are too thin than we are about people who are too big. The consequences of being too big can take years to show themselves. The consequences of being too thin, baby, heart failure could happen in an instant. Like, I'm no, not heart attack, heart failure, okay? My point is, I, we understand your concern. We are also concerned. Look, I don't know if she knows this. I don't know if she knows that we are also concerned. Like we, we don't think it's good either. We don't think it's good. Look, maybe she doesn't know. Maybe she doesn't know. We don't think it's good. It's concern. It was concerning to us. But we're not going to tell her stop wearing the king, stop wearing just in the play kingdom hearts. Like that, if that's the one little thing that bring her joy in her life. No, we will bring up the concern that we have. We're not going to tell her, um, because your body triggers me. You need to stop cosplaying. No, she cosplays and people have concerns. They'll let her know about your concerns. Don't dictate what she can and can't do uh, because you have a mental issue. Some of the most popular interests online, you're going to have it shoved down your throat every time you open up YouTube. Now, obviously, there are a lot of issues with Eugenia's platform. There's the Thin's Bone Pro Anna stuff, which I've been talking about pretty much the entire time. There's also disagree. the number of minors that have been groomed through her community, you know, because predators see the kind of people that you... I don't know if she's responsible for her community. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how she engages with her community, but um, like, yeah, obviously, get rid of those. That doesn't mean delete her videos. Yeah, this video is already an hour long, girl. Let me see. Let me see what other important parts we got. This was literally a hit piece. This was filled with the worst possible interpretations of what I said, things taken out of context, and it was an attempt to smear my reputation and my name and make it seem like I'm this awful. No. If you're, what you said wasn't taken out of context. The only thing that I agree with you was taken out of context was the underwear thing. I'm on your side with that one. Everything else 
was complete. You are literally repeating what you said in his video verbatim. You weren't taken out of context. And if you feel, if you feel like that video painted you in a bad light and it's based on things that you said, maybe it's because you said things that weren't good. And, and then when you make a response video that doubles down on the stuff that you said in the video you're claiming paints you in a bad light and you're literally repeating yourself the things that you said in the video that paints you in a bad light, then maybe you're not saying something, maybe you're saying something wrong. Maybe you're saying something wrong. Because the only things I have ever talked about on my channel are things that I genuinely do care about. So if you want to follow this content. We know you care about this. Now listen to this part. This is how I'm like, no, you're just mad. She, what, what she should have done, and this is just my recommendation, she should have slept on it. She should have written some notes because she repeats herself. Like this, her video didn't need to be 30 minutes long. Um, she repeats herself a lot in this video and she repeats things that she already said that we already saw in Willie Max video. She repeats those talking points the, like she needed mm, the girl, but, but this is how you know that she's just mad. Cause what she's saying here is just, she's just petty, angry and creator. That's fine. If you want to believe that any talked about on my channel are things that I genuinely do care about. So if you want to follow this content creator, that's fine. If you want, why is this about following Willie Mac? Who gives a damn? Who gives a damn if people are following Willie Mac? Or is she talking about following Eugenia Cooney? I want to believe that any woman or LGBT person who comes forward and talks about serious issues is just a T channel looking for drama. That's fine. See, see, she really mad about that one. <laughs> she really mad about that one. Now, I think she's talking about following Willie Mac. Who gives a damn if people follow Willie Mac though? Like defend your point. Why do you give a damn if people follow him? If you want to believe that Eugenia is this innocent angel who has never done anything wrong or hop on the every content creator needs to be held responsible for their actions except for Eugenia train, that's also fine. See, that's not what we said. That's not the train. The train is stop trying to deplatform her for existing. That's the train. Um, Willie Mac didn't make a piece on Eugenia Cooney. He made a piece about how y'all are low key bullying her. And this is what I say on my channel a lot. Just because you're trying to hold one person accountable does not mean you're not, you're not interested in the other person being held accountable. You understand this. This is the same logic you use to try to de-platform Eugenia and not mukbangers. <laughs> okay, you acknowledge mukbangers are not good, or at least Nick Akal girl, I can't say, because people think mukbangers who are thin are fine. Okay, you, you think fat mukbangers are not good. You think Eugenia is worse. Okay, Willie Mack does not think Eugenia is fine. <laughs> I don't think any of us think Eugenia is fine. He thinks you guys are worse. He thinks y'all are worse. It's the same logic, except he's not trying to actually de-platform anyone you are. If you want to marginalize what minors have gone through on her platform with her constant dismissal of grooming victims, that's fine. If you want to pretend that Thinspo and Pro Anna content don't exist, that's fine. We didn't say Thinspo and Pro Anna content. We didn't say it don't exist. We said Eugenia is not an example of it. We said Eugenia's YouTube videos are not an example of it. We didn't say it don't exist. You see, you see what I'm saying? She mad. She's mad. She's not thinking. She's not thinking clearly. Mm -mm. I'll still believe what I have always believed and what I have believed since day one. We know what you, girl, we know what you believe. L let's see how she repeat it, repeat it. And that is something that YouTube actually agrees with me with. No, they don't. 
no they don't agree with you because eugenia's video is still up <laughs> based on their own community guidelines and that's a fact that if content is actively hurting minors it should be removed or at the bare minimum age restricted until it is changed i've said this publicly a million times in the past and i'll say it again i want to see eugenia get better you want eugenia removed from youtube until she gains weight okay you don't get to control and dictate what somebody's body does you you know what? You can recommend, you can say what you want up and down. What you don't get to do is essentially have this person banned, have them deplatformed, have their videos removed until their body looks the way that you want it. No, no. <laughs> hold Eugenia to the same standards they would hold any other content creator to. Because I know for a fact, if I did half of what Eugenia does, my platform would not only be taken away, but I would be canceled by everyone online. And so- no, you wouldn't. No, no. What does Eugenia do? She wears makeup. She cosplays. She flashed her booty shorts in a video. Um, You would not be canceled. What would you be canceled? What did Eugenia do? What did, what did, what did Eugenia do? Because also you started talking about her community, how there's fetish people in there. There's predators in there. Did you, what did Eugenia do? Did if, if Eugenia created a discord and allowed these people to come in and she's not moderating it correctly, then I understand, but that's not what you use. That's not what happened though. So what, what did Eugenia actually do that you're saying you would get canceled for? Cause I, I don't see it. I don't see any of it. Your makeup is cute and adorable. Like, <laughs> And I'm sure if you cosplayed, I would love it. Like, no, you wouldn't get canceled. I, so I don't know. Maybe she's just not telling us the full thing. She's not telling us the full thing. Like, girl, you really, you really wanted to reiterate yourself. And we still are not understanding what's going on in your head. So that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get accountability because I'll no, you're not trying to get account. You're trying to get her deplatformed. Accountability, accountability would be, hey Eugenia, you did ABC. You need to own up to it. That's accountability. No, no, no. You're trying to get her deplatformed. <laughs> okay, people are trying to deplatform Trisha Paytas. Once you get to deplatforming, it's beyond accountability. Like. People who are trying to deplatform Trisha Paytas, they're no longer looking for accountability on Trisha's part. They're looking for her to get gone. Hmm. Tangible harm to the world. I also just want YouTube oh, to hold you Eugenia part. to the same standards they would hold, but I would be canceled by every own community guidelines. And we know this. I'm, trying to do. I'm just trying to get accountability because obviously she is violating YouTube's own community guidelines. It's not obvious. This, this is your problem. You think we agree with you that she's violating guidelines. We disagree with you and it's not obvious. And we know this. I think I proved. We don't know this. Not time and time again. You've proven literally nothing. <laughs> you have proven the only thing you may have given circumstantial evidence to is she flashed her panties on purpose. Like, <laughs> that's it. And so that's all I want. I just want the community to be a safe place for minors and I- no, you don't, because you don't, you don't try to deplatform anybody else. Of all the people you've criticized, you don't try to actually deplatform anyone else. What was that? I also just want people to be held accountable if they're violating TOS. I she's not violating, T she's not violating it. The, the people that we, the what, what about ism? What about Nikocado Avocado? What about mukbangers? Those people, there's literally an argument that they're violating TOS. You haven't provided one for Eugenia. That's why you're getting this whataboutism. Because the thing that you are fighting for, there's no support for it. <laughs> so we're asking, well, what about this thing that there actually is some support for? I also do genuinely hope that if she does get temporarily removed from YouTube for violating TOS, that she's, she's able to get the help TOS. that she needs, that she deserves, so that she can thrive as a person. And listen, I'm so, I know, I hate concern trolling. I, I know she cares, you know, I care, but I just, uh, uh, 
I don't, I can't listen to Concerned Trolling. Or, like, I can't. you know, be a happy person. I'm no, like, I can't, I can't listen to you. I want this really negative things to happen to this person, but also I really care about them. And I hope that, duh, 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 duh. no, I can't listen to that. It's not just tea, just because I'm a female. I've been thinking. Damn, she mad about that tea thing. Like, no. Okay, if it makes her feel any better, I view you as a commentary channel. That's why I subscribe to you. I don't subscribe, I don't readily subscribe to tea channels, but I subscribe to commentary channels. I view you as a commentary channel. Mm. If she ever sees it, she probably didn't watch this far because I've been talking for an hour and 19 minutes, but I view you as a commentary channel. Okay. Out of context, and I don't care how many videos people create trying yeah, to put them to the world. If you want to continue it. following me, if you want to watch that content that I do in the future, I would love to have you. I I'm would not love going to. to I, I, because you said you're no longer talking about Eugenia, I would love it. Like, if you never spoke of Eugenia again, I'm I'm turning my notifications back on. If I know that you're not going to speak of this anymore, <laughs> because that's that low key triggered me the way you were speaking about her. Um, I will turn my, I'm already subscribed and I will turn on my notifications. Engage with anyone regarding this. There's my eating disorder. I'm going to start. You don't know that much about EDs. I will link some videos in the description below. Her entire channel is just phenomenal. Yeah, she's a great channel. What it's like to suffer with an ED. Now, if I, you're I, I really, as a diet, as an E, as an ED dietitian, I co-sign this creator. Th I co-sign this creator. She gives a lot of, a lot of good insights. She gives a lot of good insight. Um, yeah, I, if you, if you want to relate to somebody about ED or, you know, understand the perspective under, you know, understand that world, I highly recommend her And as their well. channel is just so informative. And I think it's one of the best channels if you want to understand what it's like to suffer with yeah, ED. I, I agree now, if you're one of those you. people who went out of your way to harass me, or if you unfollowed me because of something this content creator said in their video, if you think that there's nothing wrong with pro-Anna or Thinspo content and that Eugenia is being somehow victimized or bullied or harassed by me because I don't think she should be able to yeah. trigger people online without any repercussions, yeah. if you're one of those people who thinks a content creator staying with another YouTuber once years ago means that there is automatically no abuse going on in that household whatsoever. If no, girl, I don't know. She's doing too much. She's doing too much. I'm done with this video. Oh, gee. She's she's very she's very upset. Um I wish that she I'm gonna have to thumbs it down. I just like the video. Um uploading this as a response to recent smear video that was released regarding my stance on EC's thin spell content. I don't think it's thin spell content. It's very easy to sit around and not take any meaningful stands on anything, but bash and drag other people down when they do. The damaging thing is that you're trying to deplatform her, but also you can you can you said in your own video that you can criticize a YouTuber, so. I will never apologize for taking a stance to, pr so, you know, inserting protect minors. What, <clears throat> what about the children type of thing? And no, and, and um, let me not, I don't want to sound mocking. I believe she, it, she is. What about the children? <laughs> I think she is. Um, you know, I think Eugenius, whatever secret community, whatever is ha harming minors. I believe her when she says that. I believe her when she says there are, you know, kids with ED who are getting triggered. I believe her when she says all of these things. Um, I don't think the solution is to deplatform Eugenia because I don't see her as actively encouraging these things. Um. <clears throat> Like, just like I would never try to deplatform, uh, what's his name? Crowder. Get louder with Crowder. I freaking hate that guy. And I think his community is full of um, uh, people with undesirable ideologies. And I think sometimes he uses dog whistles, intentionally or unintentionally. I don't see him as someone who intentionally is trying to foster a community of, of fascists. I, 
you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just think, I just think once you're talking about deplatforming, it needs to be somebody who's like literally doing something wrong. And I, and, and Bell would say, Eugenia is literally doing something wrong. And we would say, where, where, what, what did she do? Show, show us what, show us what she did. And the only thing you can show us is normal stuff. Taking, taking selfies, <laughs> Like applying makeup, um, posing in your thumbnail image, which also let me say, is it possible that Eugenia is doing it purposely to promote her body type? Is that a possibility? It's possible. It's possible. Maybe that's what Belle wants to hear if she watches this far. It's possible. Have you shown me enough evidence that we believe it is intentional, you haven't. You haven't shown you you haven't shown enough evidence. So yeah, I gotta thumbs it down because you didn't do anything with this video. And um oh good. <laughs> you and your friend Repsilla. <laughs> uh YouTube did not agree with you. <laughs> what did this I I got a thumb I got a thumbs that one up. That that was very disingenuous. Mm, let's see. You're really a blue Damn, the comment section is going off. Okay, comment section. I knew of since I was teen, I remember. Yes. Maybe this is what she's trying to say. I remember thinking Eugenia was goals. No doubt. I have no doubt that pro Anna pages, channels use Eugenia as inspiration. I have no doubt they use her as inspiration. Does that mean Eugenia should not exist on YouTube. No, it doesn't because they also use runway models as inspiration. They use, they use anything that they can find. I've seen pictures from medical textbooks used as inspiration. Any body that is a thin body will be used as insp as thin inspiration. That does not mean <laughs> You should stop existing because of how you look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, it's like you shouldn't be held responsible for existing in your body and people fetishizing it. I, I, the inspiration is a, is, it's a fetishization. You, you shouldn't be held responsible for people who fetishize you. Like people who fetishize me as a black woman, I, no, I'm not going to take responsibility for them. No, absolutely not. Because I just exist. You're ask, asking someone to take responsibility for how they're being fetishized because of, what is naturally on them that's wrong because there's nothing you can do <sighs> gosh the comments are going in on her but yeah um cisco off i was going insane hearing what this dude was saying about you and eugenia he was so uneducated and misinformed i hope sweets roll rat what a name. Um, I hope they see my, I hope people like them see my video and let me know your thoughts in the comments because I, I don't see her logic. The only thing I can under, yeah, the only thing I can understand that makes any sense to me what I think she's doing is she is trying to make Eugenia responsible for the people who are using her as thinspo. 
and she's trying to make Eugenia responsible for those who fetishize her. And she's trying to make Eugenia responsible for, you know, the fan communities that spawn. She's, she's trying to make Eugenia responsible for people's reaction to her existence. And we will have to agree to disagree about how much responsibility she needs to take because y'all seem to think she should bear so much responsibility that she shouldn't post at all until she gains weight. I think that's so wrong. And it could just be as fundamental of a disagreement as that. It, it really could, it really could just be that simple that it really could be just, we fundamentally disagree about the range of one's responsibility. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This was a long ass video. Lovely. Well, actually I'm still going to bed earlier than what I use. Going to bed earlier than what I usually do. I had to post this. Because I was pulling my hair. I was pulling my fake weave ass hair out, girl. <laughs> and the email. Specific reason promoting. <laughs> girl, these comments. Where the hell is the commentary community? Why are they not commenting on this? I'm, I'm commenting on this. Well, what is that? Whatever you want about me, but I'm not going to allow people to mark. Yeah, we, we comment. Actually, commentary community comments about content creators affecting minors all the time. Okay, let's let's log off. Let's get off here. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold up. Do do do. 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 Bye. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.